a camel and a jackal. Once there lived a camel and a jackal. They were good friends. They lived near a river. One day, the jackal came to know that there was a field of ripe melons across the river. His mouth watered. Aha! There are so many ripe melons there in the field, but they are at the other bank of the river. I don't know how to swim. How can I get there? He said to himself. My friend Camel can swim very well. If he agrees to carry me across the river, then I can enjoy the melons. I must talk to him. So the fox went to meet the camel. Oh, my dear friend, I have a very good news for you. There are so many ripe melons across the river. Let's go there and enjoy. The camel was also tempted to eat the melons. All right, dear friend. We'll go there tomorrow. I know that you can't swim, so I'll carry you on my back," he said. Next day, they started for the field of ripe melons. The camel carried the jackal on his back, and they crossed the river. Both of them reached the field. They were thrilled to see so many ripe melons. Come, dear, let's enjoy the melons. Said the fox. They started eating the melons. The jackal ate the melons very quickly. The camel was slow to eat the melons. Being tall, he could not reach the melons as they were near the ground. When the jackal had eaten the melons to his heart's content, he thought of a mischief. He started howling very loudly. Then he ran and hid himself. The owners of the field came running. There are animals in the field. They will eat all our melons. Come, let us save our fields. When they reached the field, they found only the camel there. They started beating him and drove him out of the field. The fox felt much amused. When the owners had gone, he came out of hiding. Oh, dear friend, I am so sorry they beat you so badly," he said. The camel asked the jackal angrily, "I got the beating because of you. Why did you howl?" The jackal replied, "Oh, it is my habit to howl after a heavy meal. I just can't help it." Both of them started their return journey. The jackal jumped again on the back of the camel. The camel carried the jackal again on his back into the river. When they were in the middle of the river, the camel decided to teach a lesson to the jackal. He began to roll in the water vigorously. The jackal got frightened. He pleaded, "Oh, dear friend, please don't roll. Otherwise, I will fall in the water." "Oh, it's my habit to roll like this in water." I can't help it," said the camel. The jackal had to struggle hard to save his life. Moral: Tit for tat.